Okay, let's get this show on the road. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Minecraft. I always hate having to load up on the uh, the menu screen like that, but what can you do? This is what we built last week, or this is what I built between last week and this week. This is our central bank. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't kill myself by falling off. There we go. Uh, so last week I built a big glass pyramid. Solid glass pyramid. I had to come in here and mine out all the blocks. You can actually see the uh, internal framework that I built here so that I can get up to the roof. And it is all finished. Now, unfortunately, I was under the impression that using carpenter's blocks with borderless glass would lead to a nice display. That doesn't seem to be the case. Um, so we end up with these, these bordered glass panels, which is a bit annoying. It's not a server yet sparky but it will be if enough people are interested in joining i will make it into a server uh it's kind of one of these things you know you've got to justify the expense this is the central bank i was between last week and this week going to mine it all out inside and make it look all really nice and functional but as a lot of you are aware this week is the five year anniversary celebrations of me being a youtuber and because of various technical complications uh, I've not actually had much time to get on and, and actually play games, which is really frustrating. But we move past that. In fact, Sparky, your name's come up quite a lot over the last couple of days because I've been replaying Football Manager and FIFA videos. So I, that's one of the reasons I, I do enjoy doing the uh, the recaps is because you, you see some good good old familiar names cropping up here, there and everywhere. What are we doing today then? probably the question on everyone's lips. We are going to be working on infrastructure. Am I still making robots? Holy moly. I am still making robots, although that should be blueprints. Uh, not blueprints. Boards. Something. These. What am I looking for? This. Yeah. But then these aren't going anywhere, probably because this is full. Okay, we'll have to uh, come back for that. So yes, today we are working on infrastructure. <laughs> There's a real bromance going on here. Uh, don't tell me. How do you get concrete again? Oh yes, smelting gravel. So gravel is being created from the pulverizer and then that's being drawn into um, the alloy smelter. Which is slightly problematic. Let's get rid of that, 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 that and that. I'd say all this is going to be redone. It's what the bank's for. Uh, -dee -dee. This isn't vanilla Minecraft, I should point that out. This is modded. So we're going to create a chest, and I'm going to run into the bank and drop off all of this stuff. So this is uh, the Minecraft crack pack. It's part of the Feed the Beast. Um don't know what you would call it. Add-on, I suppose. So these are all mods that I'm playing with. I haven't actually touched vanilla Minecraft in quite a long time. Although I've been watching some of the old uh, Minecraft streams back. And I do miss it a little bit. Modded, uh, not modded, vanilla. I do miss it a little bit. Not a huge amount, but a little bit. What was I going to do? Uh, I was turning sand into stone, wasn't I? Yes, I was. So the first thing we're going to do is relay some roads. I'm going to use our good old friend Mr. Hammer here to uh, dig all this out. Go. 
So this is one of our many roads that are going to exist around the city. Uh, and this is also going to be one of the main routes for utilities, considering uh, we are going to need a power supply to the bank for a system that I haven't actually installed yet, but will be maybe tonight, actually, depending on how quickly we can get through this. Maybe tonight. So we do need to work on getting all of that uh, ready. And part of that is getting power to the bank. So we might as well build it all now. Plus I want to get more picker robots out. Um, operating on a wider radius. Plus more night bots so I can switch mobs back on. All that kind of thing. So uh, I have a priority list. I've not got it written down anywhere but I do know what it is. Right, this is going to be the site of a road bridge. Down there is our metro bridge, one of our metro bridges. Which again, I need to get on and finish that. So we'll be doing that over the next couple of weeks as well. I say next couple, probably next few weeks to get all that ready. I'm going to focus on making this city look more like a city. I should probably be digging out this one actually. I need a... Uh, excavator. I think it's called the 3x3 shovel. That'd be quite handy. So how's everyone doing? Having a good week? Looking forward to the weekend? Football season's nearly upon us as well. Steamage play their last pre-season friendly tomorrow night. Uh, against Watford, so uh, I should be attending that. Which does mean the Planet Coaster stream will start a little bit later than usual. But follow me on Twitter, I'll always keep you posted on that. I need to make an excavator, this is ridiculous. Just being able to dig out a 3x3 three three area would be so much nicer. And I need to do something about all these horses as well, because they're getting on my nerves. So they always sit in the most annoying places. I've seen you've been very active on Twitter lately, Sparky, with the old football news. Digging up grass, or is that me? How's the shovel doing? Oh, it's nearly broken. Perhaps need to make my shovel out of something a bit more durable. Hello, Kurt. Yeah, look at the, the blocky textures. It's a, terrible, isn't it? How they could sell this game to people is, is absolutely criminal. This is the bank, Kurt. This is what the pyramid looks like now. I think, I mean, it's about, I'd say, twice the size of the pyramid at the Louvre. Considering the pyramid at the Louvre you can't actually walk into, you can walk underneath it. Where, I, I take it, I mean, I should know this as a Newcastle fan. I don't actually know if Tony's gone out on loan for this season or not. I know that Armstrong's still with us. I think he could do a job in the championship now, though. I'd like to see him stay at Newcastle, but if Rafa thinks a loan is best option for him, then who am I to argue with Rafa Benitez? He's certainly a much better manager than I am. Keep a very close eye on this. I broke my shovel a couple of times. I nearly broke my pickaxe actually fixing the uh, the pyramid up as well. There's no no way are we going to loan Tony to Sunderland. It would be a, a proper case of oh how the mighty have fallen though. I'd actually, I mean I I feel bad for Tony. 
think he deserves better than that. He's, I think he's a better player than League One now. We'll see. Alright, I'm just going to pick all this stuff up while I'm waiting for my uh, shovel to repair. Uh, no, my aircon is not on full blast. Why? Is the sound a bit funny? I did have my aircon on full blast all day, but I have to turn it off for this, which is annoying. Wow. We're loaning players to lowly Sunderland. We should set up a Kickstarter for them as well. Pick all this up. Now how wide's the road? Yeah, so this center block here is where all the utilities are going to run, I would say, including power. It is hot. It is hot. I don't want to sound like one of those really annoying people, but um, I do remember one time when I was in Australia and we were playing golf. My grandparents live out there on a golf resort and we were playing golf um, at the resort one day and we knew it was hot but we didn't realize how hot until we came off the course and I think temperatures temperatures had gone up to something like 45 while we were out on the course and we we barely noticed because we were in buggies we we're all you know sunscreen up sunscreened up I can't speak today sunscreened up uh, I must have had about six bottles of, of um, lemon that I drunk while I was out there It is hot here at the moment. Incredibly hot. Alright, why did I not dig the rest of this out? Is it because... I have put this in the right spot, haven't I? Yeah. Don't know why I didn't dig this out. go and then we'll lay the rest of the uh, the sidewalk which I am tempted to make two blocks right wide instead of one because I don't think one is is wide enough we'll have to review that yeah you're not going to get Marriott I don't think Millwall can afford five million can they It's weird because we've we've just sold um, Matt Godden to Peterborough, and I can kind of see why he wanted to make the move when you look at Marriott because you know just uh, the start of last season he was at Peterborough. The start of the season before that he was at Luton, so he's gone League Two, League One Championship in in two seasons, which is a pretty good step up. It sounds like he's a real gem as well. He scores a lot of goals. So I, I wish him luck, but still ex Luton, so I have to hate him. It's the law. Whoops. Even though half of the Luton squad from like five years ago do now play for Stevenage, I'm not particularly happy with that, but say la vie. I'm so paranoid about my shovel breaking. I might just make a stone shovel and use that instead. Oh, there's the bot doing its job. How did, I had this weird intuition that I had some... Uh, oh, I've got some there anyway. I was about to say, I had some weird intuition that I had some planks in that box, and I did. cobblestone isn't it I do think those should be interchangeable but hey ho alright 
let me take that and I'll put it in the slot. So we're not going to dig as fast now, but I don't have to worry about breaking my very expensive shovel. That's the main thing. guy can dream if we flogged Cooper we could but then that just opens our defense yeah don't 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 sacrifice your defense just to strengthen what is already a pretty decent attack if you ask me as we all know I'm not a Millwall fan but sometimes you've got to hand it to them otherwise they'll nick it anyway oh I've got a free slot good good What I'm going to do here is dig out the road, which might seem, whoops, hello, counterproductive. But first of all, it exposes holes like this, which is where mobs could spawn in the future. And second, it gives me an avenue in which I can lay utilities, which is crucial for this project. You can tell this is when I was building in creative, when I put the roads down. I think it was the only part of the original project that I actually did in creative. Because I just didn't give a damn about anything under here. Because I would never see it. Uh, that, I believe, is the metro track. Again, it would be riddled with mobs if this was uh, for real. What I could do as a shortcut is grab my old friend, the uh, filler. And just come through here. Like, chuck it full of dirt and just get it to fill it that way. Is that Tom Elliott? I'm sure I remember him playing against Stevenage once upon a time. I'm intrigued by who Newcastle is signing at the moment. We got Shah in from... I um, can't remember where he joined us from now. But, you know, Swiss international. Seems like a good player. And the one I'm really excited about is the Japanese guy we're about to sign. Uh, whose name always escapes me, but... You know, he was at the World Cup and seemed to do pretty well, so fingers crossed. Can I just... I can't really put it in there, that's quite important. I'm just going to chuck it in there. There we go. Alright, that stuff can all be despawned or picked up by the robots. Probably picked up by the robots. So the plan is... We're going to have street lamps that look a little bit like this. They have to look like this, unfortunately, because of the um, the fact that the robots need to charge off the Billcroft pipes, which is what these are. Uh, the advantage, though, is we can actually use uh, block covers to make it look a little bit more decorative. Now, there are creative fuel, uh, not fuel, creative cells, basically batteries, underneath a lot of these so I'm gonna get rid of those and plug it all into the the main reactor that we've got running uh, this center block as well because this is technically a road I'm gonna make it look a little bit nicer I should actually move oh, I can't really because of the bridge might have to have a narrow sidewalk or a no sidewalk here actually you just cross the road straight into the park something like that or just a narrow one we'll, we'll just do a narrow one where we can do two block wide footpaths we will otherwise we uh, just keep it as is I'm tempted because the the tunnel boring machines dig out a 3x3 three three area but I'm tempted to make the metro tunnels in the city 2x2 two two, or 2x3 two depending on what the track 
is going to be like just to make it a bit more um, what's the word claustrophobic is not really the word I'm looking for a bit more enclosed that's probably the right word claustrophobic is not the word you want to use to describe anything apart from claustrophobia Alrighty. So the metro tunnel here, if we have it as a 2x2 two two, then the utilities can actually run one block below the road, which means you can access it better. Uh, and then we'll put an obsidian cover across the top there. I think that'll work quite nicely. And then it'll loop all the way around like it is currently set up to do. And then here, uh, we might have another road run across the back here. I'm just debating where to put the connection to the power. I suppose what we... I mean, this bridge is, is temporary. We're going to get rid of it. Uh, I think, actually, building the road bridge across like that and connecting the power up on this side is probably going to be better and easier. So I'll most likely do that. Interested to hear everyone else's opinion on that though, whether it's a good idea or not. What would you do if you were in this position? That's doing good. That's not doing good. We might need to uh, grab some more fuel soon. I suppose the next thing I want to do is set up the uh, energy conduit and get that ready to go. So let's just go energy conduit. So ideally we want this one, but I think you need uh, ender pearls. Yes you do. So we'll go for this one, which is just energetic alloy, which is redstone, gold, and glowstone, and then conduit binder, which is binder composite, which is sand, clay, and gravel. Not too difficult then, it's just dust in a barrel. Did I have that set up somewhere? I think I was doing it manually, wasn't I? Or was I? Let's have a look. So if I was to put a barrel here and just chuck dust in. Oh, I know where I was doing it. Yeah, I know where I was doing it. It's down here. Uh, not my finest move. Out here, and then in here. So ideally, I want to take this and temporarily swap it for an insert so that the clay will just collect in there and then if I go here and chuck in a couple of stacks of cobblestone maybe four just to be short so it'll go into the pulverizer and it'll get pulverized into gravel and then that will get pulverized into sand and then that will get pulverized into dust bear in mind some of it will come in here as well and get turned into furnaces It's for the locomotive stuff. We have 98 locomotives. I might re-dye some of them, but I'm pretty sure we are going to end up using all 98 at, at various points. It's a big city. We're going to need lots of trains. What is you? Oh, you're one of them flying horses. I don't want you here. Go away. Does this affect my attack, by the way? 
Yes. Putting Silk Touch on my pickaxe took its attack stat down by three. Quite squeals, doesn't it? Squeals like a pig boy. Alright, let's let the gravel have a go. Chuck that in as well. That should be plenty of clay. Actually, is there any gravel over here that I could pick up? Let's have a look, see. Yes. Let's grab all this and chuck it in. There we go. Good. Uh, as for the walls here, I'll replace that one and I'll replace that one. Oh, I suppose I'll replace this one for the time being. We should be able to reach the uh, the hopper to pick up the other stuff in a second. Um, so if I just take energy out of this and just look up conduit because ideally we want item conduit as well which I think you do actually need ender pearls for so I'm not sure how I managed to get that in the past although we're not going to use yeah, we're not going to use item conduit we're going to use a logistics network so we don't need that uh, so the fluid conduit is the other one which again needs conduit binder and quite clear glass which is glass Remind me what pressure does. Uh, it pulls out more fluid at any given time. What does this require? Fused quartz. Okay. Which we do actually have. If I come over here. We can get quartz quite easily. I don't have any sand on me though, do I? Nope. Doobie doo. Hop over here. And chuck soul sand in here. Take out this. Um, have an alloy smelter in here. So was it fused quartz, which is three lots of quartz. Hey, alloy smelter. Oh, weird. Alright, so that should give us uh, the stuff we need. This silicon. What can you use silicon for? Put it in an inscriber, or you can craft it. Oh, that would be useful, actually, to have lights and cells. That would be very useful. And a conduit probe. A probe mode, right click on a conduit to display details about its network. Okay. You can smelt it with redstone to form redstone alloy or with steel to form... That's how you get electrical steel. Oh, you need steel dust for it though. Or you can do it with refined iron. Does that also give you electrical steel? Yes, it does. So I assume in an alloy smelter. Yeah. Okay. Or a slice and splice. Okay. So silicon is actually very handy to have around. Do we have any left over? No, we don't. That's all building up. Let's chuck this here for now. So what about the clay? Uh, can I reach the hopper from here? Yes. Seven blocks. Not a huge amount at the moment. That is pulverizing, not very quickly. 
Let's let some sand have a go. Hang on a second. It's smarter to do it this way. There we go. Do that, do that. So the quicker we can get the uh, the dust going, the quicker we can get the conduit binder going, which was binder composite, which is clay, gravel, sand, and that's it. You get a fair whack from it. Alright. We're becoming self-sufficient. Redstone conduits. That's, that is redstone, essentially, but in conduit form. What the hell's just loaded up on my laptop? Uh... So redstone conduit like that means it, it's um, just like raw redstone. The insulated one means you can't connect it to any other networks other than itself. And then that's the switch. Ender fluid. Don't need to worry about that. Ooh, ME conduit. I forgot that even existed. That's what I was going to work on actually was an applied energistics storage system. Call this thing slow. really slow. Okay, how much dust have we got? Oh yeah, it creates dust, which then goes into here. Yeah. So we're getting much more now. So if I... It's actually that that I wanted to turn off. So I need to turn which I can't see which is really annoying damn it this I want to turn back on and it's this I need operating. Okay. All good. So you're creating lovely clay for me. And then in here we've got some gravel. And then if I come over here and pick up some sand. Okay, and then uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. What are we missing? Gravel. It's always bloody gravel, isn't it? Do we not have any... Yeah, we got some double compressed... Ah. Uh, bucket... Key, dolly. All right. Didn't this used to be tech it back in the day? Quite possibly. Yeah, quite possibly. I know some of the mods have changed name. All right. Stick you in there. Turn you into your composite binder. Yeah, I need to come up with a better system than this this chest. Or these chests, uh, I should say. It's a really poorly designed and implemented system. I don't even know where that's going to go. Okay, so I've got an absolute ton of composite binder now. Which, if I combine with the fused quartz, gives us the pressurized fluid. So we'll do that. go and then come up here so 
So the pressurized fluid conduit is going to be running through, I suppose, through the center. These might end up all being separate, actually, thinking about it. Because the, the items are all going to be traveling through a logistics pipe, which... I mean, I'm, I know I'm toing and froing quite a bit here. But I'm sort of doing it as I'm going along. Uh, I'm going to need another chest. Let me put everything away that I can. There. Grab. Like so. Come out here. Stick you there. Stick you there. Chest. Alright, this is going to be... Whoops. This is going to be the utilities chest. So you go there. That, that, that. Cool. Uh, how do I get the energetic alloy again? Oh yeah. Redstone, gold and glowstone. And somewhere... Maybe not. I thought I had glowstone dust being stored. Oh, yeah, you can't even do it like that, can you? Uh. Oh, this is what I found out the other day. Because my pickaxe now has silk touch, I can't just smash it using that. I have to use this. That's Oh, I put silk touch on that as well, didn't I? Of course I did. So I have to use something that isn't a pickaxe or a hammer now. Alright, is that a stack? It's nowhere near, is it? I can't do my maths right. Still don't think I've done my maths right. Oh, close. Tell you what, I'm just going to grab a stack. Dooby doo. Now we just play the uh, the really long, let's cut down an entire tower of glowstone game. I would say let's have a look out and see if I can see my boring machines, but they're off in that direction and the answer is no, I can't. Now I'm sure there used to be a thing, I'll need to check what it was, but I think it was in an earlier version of Carpenter's Blocks. Um, you'd put down the block, you'd put down what you wanted it to be, so in the case of the pyramid there, it's it's borderless glass and uh, a chiselled iron block. And then if you put glowstone in it as well, it would illuminate it. So the idea was to have the pyramid lit up at night, which could still happen. I could use uh, redstone lamps or something like that to make it glow. But currently, uh, it doesn't glow, which is a bit frustrating. Why are you going in there? That, that, that. Please, thank you. And then you go there, you go there, you go there. And that should all get sucked in. Yep. We'll just stick that there as well. Screw it, we'll stick that there too. Uh, so you get rid of everything I've got there again. So that's a load of energetic... Al Actually, did I have some? What's this? Aluminium. Ardite. Okay. 
It looks so similar to other things that I've got here. I don't think I had a, a ch uh, draw for it. I don't think I had a barrel for it either. So that's Ardite. Copper. It's what's annoying. These aren't even full. The problem is, because these chests are full up, nothing can get through. So the solution really is to do that. Uh, and then grab one of these and stick it there. That's the solution. And then stuff should be able to get through. How are we doing? Got a fair amount of it getting cooked up. Good to see. That's all working. Alright. Um, so while we're waiting for all of that, the next thing we're going to look at is logistics. So essentially, I want this basic logistics pipe, which is two cobblestone transport pipes, one diamond, one golden chipset, or gold gear. I think I prefer this recipe. Um, glass, redstone torch, and diamond transport pipe, which is two lots of diamond and some glass. So need an absolute ton of glass, which is a good thing I had some cooking up from last week. Like so, and one lot from there, and then one lot from there. So let me throw the gravel out for a second. that out for a second as well. Won't be for long. Uh, can't do it there. Can't do it there. Why have I got two lots of that? You can go there. You can go there. So it's diamond, diamond, glass. And then it's cobblestone, cobblestone, glass. Um, diamond, diamond, diamond. Chuck all this back in there. Pick all this up. Also chuck it in there. Really? Why won't the gravel go in here? Oh, it's full. That explains a lot. Alright, that's cool. You can come over here and go in there. So what else was it I needed? Gold gear and redstone torches. So if I go like that and like that, and then it's one of them and one, two, three, four of them. Again, I've always said this, I go big when I build in Minecraft. So it's one, two, three, four. Stay stack of gold gears, stack of redstone torches, and then we build a whole host of these. Done. Uh, while we're here, what I will probably do is grab another stack of that, another stack of that, and I will make some gold transport pipes. I always go to that one. Uh, it's that, isn't it? Like so. There we go. 
So it's smart to lay these down first. I might have to do a, a little mini explanation as to what all of this is. Let me just charge up my jetpack quickly before I lose all power. Basically, the logistics network automatically pulls out from certain chests uh, or machines and deposits what it pulls out in other chests or machines. But it's, it's compatible with golden transport. Well, it's compatible with all the transport pipes. The golden ones just happen to be the fastest. So it makes more sense to do this. And you put the logistics pipes on junctions... So when the item gets there, it remembers where it's supposed to be going again. That's the basic gist of it. Whoops. Again, I really should come through here first and, and fill all this. Especially when it comes to things like that. Uh, I need to dig out all of this. What do you guys think of the Guard City project then? Do you think it's ambitious? Or do you think it's good? Or do you think it's both? Stone shovel seems to be holding up quite well, actually, against all of the uh, the work I'm making it do. Good to see. All right, so that is our full loop under the square. It makes sense again to have all of this in the the uh, sorry the items in the middle, and then the fluid on one side and the energy on the other, because uh, eventually the energy is going to be upgraded to. Cryo something conduit, I think it's called. It's a really fancy way of saying very high energy cables that use cryo technology to keep them cool, stop them exploding. They can carry a lot of power at any given time. here, place another one of these, and then continue. Now the logistics network does need power to operate as well, but uh, you, you connect that directly to the pipes. So considering these pipes are going to be running next to um, energy cables, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And again, the key word is shouldn't be. You just never know. Okay. And again, when we're building the track through here... What was that roar? Uh, when we're laying the track through the tunnels there, we should be able to cover up cover up the pipes so you won't be able to see what's going on. My phone is going mental tonight. What on earth is going on in the group chat? Have I really run out of... Well, there you go. I've run out of gold pipe. That's why you've always got to carry a lot. Scooch through here, downstairs. Do that, and then I want to do that, and that, and that. Which I can't carry because I've got all this stone on me. 
All right, hang on. Let me put all this back. Uh, you're the utilities one, aren't you? So let's chuck all the stone in there, because road is technically infrastructure. One of them. Two of them. <laughs> That's why I have my phone on silent. It's a little tip I learned way back in the day. I could just hear it vibrating in the corner. Ow. Okie dokie. Let's try to scooch along here. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Whoops. There we go. Now the unloading station that I've got underneath City Hall that will be connected to the bank, it will also be connected, well it, it will predominantly be connected to this. Uh, so items will be constantly whizzing around underneath the ground here. I think that does actually impact on the uh, the CPU. So we might have to limit it a little bit in certain areas, but um, for now, you know, it should be fine. So I I need a where is it soldering station power junction that's what I need which is iron redstone and a redstone block let me check on the alloy while I'm here good one of them two of them think. Something like that. Again, I'm going to be full up again in, in just a second, but for now at least. What am I doing? That. So it's you across the middle, and then it's you across the top, and you across the bottom. we go. Might as well carry that for a second. I won't carry that one. You can go back. Actually, no, I can't carry this for the time being, can I? Let me also chuck you and you. Do you know what? I'll chuck you in there as well. Because you can just get pulverized into uh, stuff. What are you burning? Oh, yeah, the quartz. Where's all the quartz gone? This isn't connected to the... Where has it all gone? Not gone in there. Not gone in there. Not gone in there. Don't tell me it all got pulverised. I hope not. I'm trying to think. One lot of four makes one of them. So four, four, four makes three. Oh, maybe that is right then. Yeah, I'm not waiting for you. You're taking too long. You can go in there. Uh, so we'll make the power junction now, which is one, two, one. Like so. And... Like that. What else have we got? Security, crafting, more crafting, statistics, power provider, EU power provider. And then there's all of this stuff as well. Structural pipe frame. I think that's something fancy that you, uh, you use to make it look like your pipes are actually being held up. Which, to be honest, I do actually kind of want uh, in the future. So we got the request pipe. 
lets you manually request items. Items can come from any item source pipe. Put a chest on the pipe to catch items coming out. Or there's the provider, which sends 16 items into the network on request. It ignores suppliers on the same block. Uh, and it attaches to any inventory. So you attach this to a chest or a machine, whatever it might be. Crafting, we don't need to worry about that. Satellite, uh, I don't think we need to worry about that really either. The supplier can automatically fill a chest or machine, can get items from any item source, ignores providers on the same block. And then you've got things like the, the logistic chassis where you can put an input and an output on the same uh, piece of pipe using these modules. So there's the extractor modules, there's the item sync, which is a provider, I think. Uh, passive supplier, and then you've got these ones as well. There's a load, a load of stuff. Uh, what else have we got? Crafting, yeah. Destination pipe. Receives unroutable items from a matched entrance pipe. Both entrance and destination pipe must share a coded frequency card. Yeah, so again, you put cards in. Connects two logistics networks together over sh over a shared inventory, usually used with an ender chest. You can get clever with trains too. It's probably too clever for me. Remote orderer. Oh yeah, I remember that. Okay, and then you've got the same thing here, with but with fluids. Okay, so we want some of this. We also want some of this. As well as some of this. So we're going to go lay out the basis of our road. Oh, it's raining and it's dark. My two least favourite things. In Minecraft, anyway. So we're going to build this across like so. Any second now, we'll be back on terra firma. There it is. So this is the uh, the road pattern over here, and then run back over here. Da -da -da. And then place this one. was I making stone for last week? Does anyone remember? There was a reason I set up that furnace. I know I was using it for glass by the end, but I was using it for stone to start with. I genuinely have forgotten. It's not a good sign. Okay, road will continue off in that direction. This hill will all be flattened in the future. Uh, the reason I have built this is so that we can start to connect the power. Now let's assume that this here is the end of the bridge and there will be a junction like so. And then it's one, two, three, four. Hang on. Probably easier if I cut it out. One. Two, three, four, five. And then you go across like this. Okay. 
Woohoo! Stop raining. Let's use the uh, the mega shovel for this. What I love about this shovel, you just gotta show it to the dirt and it disappears. Very efficient. So it kind of makes sense to have the first thing that this uh, system requests be Eulorium for the reactor. Then you have a self-sufficient uh, logistics network. Essentially it powers itself. How far can I make this road go? Quite a long way before it crosses the river again. The bots can come and take care of all of that stuff. Alright, so that's that bit done. Now we do the same thing over here. Didn't mean to uh, knock myself down the hole there. Dear me, my mouse sensitivity is a little off, it seems. Hopefully it gets daylight again soon so I can see what I'm doing as well. That'd be nice. And it is very, very hot in here. So I'm going to do very briefly. I'm going to move forward so that hopefully... Just let me know if you guys can hear this. Can you hear that on the microphone? Anybody? I mean, I'm tempted to take it as a yes at the moment. If I move in the path of it like that, you can definitely hear it. But I think if I sit forward like this, you might hear it whirring away in the background, but you can't hear it blowing air into the microphone itself. So hopefully I'm alright. Is it sunrise soon? I hope so. So my shovel will start fixing itself as I'm digging. Come on, son. Anyone still in the chat? look up a little bit more when I'm digging along like that. Where's the... Oh, we've gone way past it. Alright, so I'm going to dig to about here. Whoops. Place that temporarily. Swap the old shovels over again. Oh, 
there it goes. It's alright, it's getting to daylight now, so this one will start fixing itself soon. Hopefully it holds out just while I dig out all the rest of this and then uh left on it. 20. Urgh, not good. I'm not even sure if I've got enough pipe on me at the moment. That would be quite something, wouldn't it? Here comes the robot to pick up all the uh, the dirt and the seeds, etc. That's got a pretty full in inventory by the looks of things as well. Like the, the current storage system I've got is going to collapse in on itself very soon. Let me turn the AC off for a bit. Because essentially, it's it's a non-sustaining system that's just going to go to pot. Let me just track this as well. I say that a lot as well. Let me just do this. Like someone's going to say no. <laughs> so this is going to be the main power supply for the whole city is going to run through this little gap here. It's going to be a three wide gap actually so I should probably dig it out as a three wide gap. That's what I love the hammer for. There we go. And dig out you. Dig out all of that. Actually hang on. Let's not dig out that. So what, what I need to come up with is a way to monitor how many items pass through the logistics network at any given time. I am live again, yes. This is live. Um, yeah, I need to, kind of like an electricity meter or a water meter kind of thing. So if people have a business that sells whatever... Uh, and they stock up cash from the bank, I need to be able to monitor how much gold or whatever it might be passes into their premises at any given time. So then I know how much to charge them for it. So this is essentially the central nervous system of the entire city here. So somewhere under here, there it is, is the capacitor bank, and I should be able to put the little power junction there, let's say, uh, and stick that on top, and there we go, it's powered. So I can now put this here you see it's not red on the borders anymore I've only been home an hour and your schedule doesn't say you're streaming tonight yes it does it better do because I changed it to say it was yeah the God City Project Minecraft 8 till 10 at M4J Gaming Twitch channel can I get rid of that there we go this is powered now. You can see it's not got the red borders anymore, which means it's it's actually receiving power. Uh, so the other thing I wanted to do... Where are we? Here. Scooch up. Dig directly... Oh, maybe not there. Dig directly underneath this chest here. Um, I haven't got the right stuff yet, but we will have... Where is it? level with this one. 
So I think what I will do is, if you come in on the center here, then here there will be a junction. And again, I like this little touch as well, how it grabs hold of the, the ceiling like that. Uh, I can actually replace that tile. There we go. And if I come over here, I can replace that tile and that tile and that tile and that tile. So I can't put it in yet, but there will be a logistics pipe of that sort there. Yeah, I should get a new PC, you're right. Uh, I've just got Wednesday 2000, Friday 2000 and Saturday 2000. Probably looking in the wrong place. I did change it this week um, because it was originally at 7. Yesterday's was originally at 7 as well and I changed them both so that they would be at 8 instead. Maybe that messed it up. It's it's perfectly possible that that's what's happened. Uh, so what do I need? I need to go back to base, first of all. Always got to go back to base when I'm uh, debating what to do next. Like I said, this bridge in a second will be deconstructed and new energy conduit laid around the outside. Which means all of this will start getting torn down as well. Can't wait for that. Oh, it's ugly as hell. City Hall will actually start looking nice again. So I need to make a request. No, not a request. Uh, a supplier. Yeah. So you are... Okay, that's quite an easy recipe. Oh, Minecraft lag. Doesn't like lapis for some reason. Who does? Ugh, horrible stuff. So that and that, and then you there. So you automatically fill a chest or a machine. Okay, and then I want the provider which sends items into the network and that is redstone and a gold gear which I've got I just haven't got the redstone so let's do that uh, can't do you there so if I do that I can create two okay so you're a supplier so let me go place this one down first And this pump as well, currently it only pumps water into, because originally this was a steam powered um, closed system I think is what it's called, but it, it doesn't work very well, like the efficiency was a bit off, uh, have I completely messed this up, probably, oh well, so this, yeah, If I set you to full, now I need to go over and find the Eulorium. Can you see what time it's got scheduled for next week, Tom? should be 8, but we'll see. So if I do this, and we'll just do that. So this chest now should always be stocked with Eulorium, once it's all hooked up of course, which it isn't at the moment. Um, so I suppose what we could do is hook it up and actually test it. Hang on. mainly graphical this but it annoys the hell out of me so I'm gonna do this as I go along see 
that all I need to go up to. There we go. And then from here, it's a straight line out to here, where it's one of these. And then we go up one. Again, I might as well do that. And then it's this. So if I come over here to this, I can actually do stuff with this. Okay. That's good to know. That's actually very good to know. Uh, so you are in the centre, which is this one. I think. Yeah. Okay, so you go... Actually, this is on the wrong height. Uh, dirt. Look at that. Day's gone so fast. Blink and it's night time again. See, this doesn't actually need to deviate at all. This is the right height. cross like this. Have you checked the time, Tom? It's a test of whether he's been listening as well. I'll be honest, it's not looking promising at the moment. This goes here, and then the rest of this is all gold. Now you can use just logistics pipes for all of this, but I've heard other people say that it's cheaper to use the gold because A, they're supposedly faster, items travel faster along gold pipes than they do anything else, uh, and B, like I said, it's cheaper, it's easier to make the gold pipes it's just gold and, and glass rather than redstone and all the other stuff that you need to make the logistics pipes. This can be frustrating. So I think the junction is here. Uh, not you. You. There we go. So, uh, oops. Like that. This is the right height, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what hit that horse thing behind me. It's got some weird name. There was another type of creature, like a th weird chicken on ostrich legs type thing. I think it was called like a ch chickabo or something like that. Um, I took that mod out of the game because it, it really doesn't add anything gameplay wise. They're just annoying little things that cheap and chirp their way around the map when you're trying to do important things. Okay, so somewhere alongside the bank here, there will of course be a junction. Again, I think I'll build the storage first and then I'll build the junction with the bank. So it's kind of working backwards from the, the right end. Oh, 
Go away. Stop doing that. It's really annoying. How much further? Oh wow, this is a long road. Almost done. There it is. So if I now come over here again, All of this logistics network should now be powered. And you're not. Okay. And you're not. Maybe you need to put power junctions in more regularly than I have done. Because it is quite a, an elongated route when you think about it. That's cool. Let me charge up the jetpack again and I'll go take a look. We'll go check out the power junction first. Uh, which I now can't reach because of these. Alright, so you've got the maximum power. Everything looks like it's fully charged up. 10 RF is 5 LP. So there's 2 million LP, which means there's 400,000. Is that right? No, it's 4 million. Sorry, yeah, there's 4 million RF, 2 million LP. That works. It all adds up. So all of this is powered. Uh, when did I dig that hole in the floor? I don't even remember doing that one. Okay. You're powered. This one here should also be powered and is. So I think the issue is. Are there. Did the mod get added back in? Chocobo, that's what they're called. I mean, just listen to that noise. Ugh. Makes me shudder. So I, I think there's going to be another road junction here anyway. So if I remove that and replace it with this. So that one is now powered. Let's assume somewhere it could end up moving, but let's put it level with this for now. Are you powered? You're not. But if I put one here as well, you're powered. You're powered. So you do have to place them fairly regular. And this one's now powered. And if I keep coming over this way, this one's now powered. Now this one being powered, I was about to say it's quite important, but it's kind of in the wrong place. So maybe outside the doors of City Hall, sort of here. If we replace you with this. What am I standing on? Oh, dirt. So I think at this point I could just 
dropped. Oh yeah, this is a hidden tunnel. It's all been burnt away and blown up by creepers. But it's a hidden tunnel between Guard Tower and the bank. Uh, not the bank, City Hall. So maybe I should move this over one. Because then we remove some of this flame. Oh no, that was a really bad idea. That was a really bad idea. Okay. Not my finest moment. That's cool. That's why we make mistakes. Okay. So at this point we are kind of tunneling under all of this a fair amount, but uh, this is where we want to be. So I need... Let's remove that for a second. Put it there instead. Uh, actually, yeah, I need the sandstone for this. Right, so you go along like this. there and then here you're going to go like that and like that and these are both powered good and then you're going to come along like this to here can I not pick that up yeah say so I thought I could Okay, and then you are going to be that, and you're powered. Good. Good stuff. Now how the hell am I going to get out of here? I suppose what I need to do is dig through there. There we are. Put as much of this stuff away as I can. What I need now is a draw controller. Which is not easy, if I remember rightly. Yeah, because you need redstone comparators, which is nether quartz. Uh, what else was it? Stone, a draw of some kind, which I have one of there. Uh, was it diamond? Yeah, one diamond, which I've got some of here. Uh, some stone. Five stone, I think it was. And then I need nether quartz. Which I need how much? Just two, actually. So you can go back. Uh, and then I need some sticks. And I've got redstone torch there. So I can, in theory, make this. Uh, I need more stone. There we go. Now before I set it up correctly, let me just check with the wrench. This thing. Leave one item per type. Okay. And if I stick this here, is it going to start sending Eulorium? I can't see anything leaving. I mean, that doesn't mean it isn't. It might just mean that I've not got the setting on so that you can see it. So what you do now is you run over here. OK. 
Okay. Nothing coming in. So you need to keep this stocked with Eulorium, but no Eulorium is being supplied. So if I take this... It was definitely powered, because it didn't have a red border. So that's not the issue. So if I do that, now is it going to work? Maybe if I change that. Anything? No? Logistics pipes draw controller. Do a quick Google search. Oh, it looks like it's a. It might be a known issue. Craft the following: storage drawers, draw controller, logistics request table, logistics power junction. Basic logistics pipes, blah blah blah. Power junction should be powered by some power source, yes. Then connect the power junction with the request table using the, yeah. Connect the request table with the storage drawers using basic logistics pipe and one request logistics pipe closest to the request table. There is a place where the items can be moved to. We definitely linked it all up, didn't we? So you're a provider pipe. Let's check what that does again. Attaches to an inventory, sends 16 items into the network on request, ignores suppliers on the same block. So if there's a supplier connected to this block, it will ignore it. But all the others it should allow. So this, maybe I need to move the controller to a bit closer. Maybe if I stuck it here instead. Uh, which then means probably having to put this underneath. I don't think it's a distance issue. Uh, and again... I don't know whether you need them on all corners, but I'm going to put them here anyway. Anything? Nothing. Okay. So the next test is... Remove this. Actually, no, I might leave that there, because that would be handy to have. Just remove all this for now. Like that. Uh, except instead of you being that type, you're going to be this. And then go up here. And somewhere, was it in here I put it? No, oh, it was down below, wasn't it? In this chest, grab the dolly. And then find the drawer. Actually, do I have a barrel with the Allurium? I do. How much have you got in? Fair amount. Now if I pop you there, you're not working, are you? Okay. Now I'm wondering, maybe it's because of the other end. Hello. That's not what I wanted. There is one other thing we can try. Here. If I move... Right, hang on. 
take that out. Take that out. Uh, get rid of that. Swap you two over. You go there. You go there. And then here, have to do a bit of digging, like so. Dig through here as well, and then get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. Uh, do you know what? I'm just going to cut that out as well. So you're the supplier, right? Automatically fill a chest or machine. So if I attach you to that uh, oops do I have any Eulorium here? not in that chest I do here, good oh, I have got some mummy anyway I'll stick you back in there um, grab this your that and just keep you full Ah, that's a problem. Uh, right, hang on. Let me scooch up here. Grab you, put you there. Grab you, put you there. Okay. So now I can do that, and that, and that, and that. Under, under... Uh, under like this and then like that and like that now is it working oh, I'm not doing myself any favours with the way I've uh, set the floor up here it all needs tidying up I know that Are you getting Eulorium brought over? I have a horrible feeling the answer is no. So I think what happens is this kind of like glows when it's working. And it's not glowing, is it? This is turned off again. Maybe that's why actually, because that's... But then this isn't full. No, so that should be requesting Eulorium. Why are you not requesting Eulorium? Anybody in the chat who knows this better than I do? This is the Elorium one, isn't it? Yeah. This should be providing. Although it's got... Well, some just went. Let's race over really quick. Maybe it can only send 16 at a time. Maybe that was the problem. So if we come over here now, hopefully soon, we see the Eulorium arrive here and travel up into... Hopefully? Come on. Every junction or corner, I put one of these uh, logistics pipes. So it should work. Should being the keyword. Did something just go in there? Did I miss it? Keep an eye on it. Ah! I saw it. It went in. It went in. It went in. I saw it. It went in. Sweet. Okay, so I need... 
bulk 100, let's say. I can't do infinite because it it will end up. Uh, it it kind of does a thing if it requests items and then those items can't be uh, used, like can't go into the machine, then it it just chucks them out on the floor, which you know that's not very good. Now I do need to connect up these fluid ducts again because this is quite crucial for the whole process here. Right, so we have got another provider here, and you are going to provide the plutonium. Like so. And I'm going to take one from you. I'm going to right click on you, and I'm going to do that. And there you go. Plutonium got sucked in. So it looks like it is only doing one at a time. But that's enough to power the reactor. So we haven't got any Eulorium going into that barrel now, but we have got a self-sufficient system. Which I'm really happy with. So you should now be, yep, getting ready to process cyanide into plutonium. And then that plutonium will get pumped back into the reactor and I can fill in all these holes in the floor. So that is how our reactor is going to function from now on. I'm quite happy with that. There goes another piece. Awesome. Uh, you, I suppose, can go like that. Because what eventually I will do is have this as a chassis um, pipe and have the Eulorium get pumped into here and then out of here into the reactor when needed. So we will always have a supply of Eulorium here just in case. And maybe have a second input there just in case as well. There you go. More's just gone in. But you can see it sitting there. Because the plutonium has gone in and then it chucked it out like so. So I can edit that by just waiting until it's full, I think. I might take out the plutonium for now. And let this fill up with plutonium. And then swap that over for a correct chassis as and when necessary. I think it's the Mark II that you need, which is this one, which is iron around a basic logistics pipe. That's actually very easy to make. I could make that now. I've got some iron. Is there a crafting table here? No. Ow. This is proven to be quite successful, I would say. So it was that and that, wasn't it? Yep. Chassis Mark II. Alright, and then I need a... What have we got? Item Sync Passive Supplier. Let me Google it quickly. We've got a little bit of time left. Logistics pipes modules. Oh, it's hot in my room. Let me turn my aircon back on for a little bit. And it's dark, so I need to turn my light on as well. There we go. Right. Let me cover the microphone while I uh, read this. Okay, item routing. Active versus passive. Uh, a pipe or module that actively requests items will try to fill its attached inventory by sending out a request to any pipe or module that can supply that item. 
such as a provider logistics pipe. A passive pipe or module will only act as a destination for an item that is already traveling in the network or for a pipe or module that actively looks for destinations such as a quick sort module. So I want to know So there is a provider uh, module and there's an item sync let's see what that does provider module is the module equivalent of a provider logistics pipe and will provide items into the network for any pipes that actively request them yeah okay and then the item sync Forms the same as a basic logistics pipe, however, it checks for inventory space before syncing items. This module acts as a passive item sync. So, what's the module version of the requester? It doesn't appear to be one. So there's the item sync. Uh, that's the passive supplier. Quick sort, terminus, advanced extractor. So that's the provider module, which is lapis. Alright, so I need that, which is paper, redstone, and a golden nugget. Let's chuck all this in here for now. Was it paper, redstone, gold nugget? So it was that that, that, and then that, that to make this uh, I should probably make two actually okay one can be turned into the provider module which is that one which is lapis and more redstone okie dokie uh, provider 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 there we go so you get turned into that and then active supplier I guess it's an active supplier which is just two more ah, okay so I created a provider so I need the passive supplier let me just check what that does turn off the AC again Passive supplier. Passive supplier module works the same as a supplier logistics pipe, however, it will not actively request items from the network. It will simply act as a high priority destination for items that are traveling in the network. Okay. But there's an active. Which isn't in the wiki, the active provider, which is what that is. So I need to make that first, which is an iron gear, two lots of rose red, which I have somewhere, I'm sure of it. I'm sure I picked some flowers. In there? No. I'll grab the, the redstone. Hang on, what was it? Uh, it was red, wasn't it? That one. Two lots of redstone, an iron gear or an iron chip set, which I don't think I have either of. How do you even make an iron gear? It's probably the dumbest question anyone's ever heard, but it's that one. Okay, 
You could do it with five iron. Let's make that first. So somewhere, I'm sure I have some uh, poppies. If not, I'm going to have to go find some. Oh, there's some over here. There's only two that I needed. One. Two. Turn that into rose red. There we go. So now I should be able to come over here and create not that, that. And then I need two more redstone. Uh, and I can create the active, that's the passive supplier, active supplier. Alright, let's go give this a test. Do I still have the, I don't. Just in case, grab one of them. Okay, logistic chassis. So we want the provider first. Provide Eulorium. Uh, hang on. We want this one first to request Eulorium. Uh, bulk 100, let's say. And then we want this to provide Eulorium and Blutonium. This should now fill up, I hope, with Eulorium. Although I think this is requesting as well. Yeah, you're requesting. Right, how full are you? You're actually depleting. So I think if I grab this and ask you. Oh, not there. What am I doing? To request that. Yeah, you're going in there, no problem. This, meanwhile, is going over here. Now, this doesn't look like it's connected properly. But it must be, because it's pulling out. So maybe it's just not... Uh, not that one. Maybe it's not doing this one properly. Eulorium. Partial full. Do it on full instead. Oh, no, did I put that one in? Let me take that one out and see if it actually fills it with the Eulorium. I mean, Eulorium is definitely being requested. It's just the case of where is it being put. It's being called into this one at the moment. It doesn't seem to be going into there. So yeah, you should be requesting Eulorium, but you're not. Might have to come back to that some other time, because we've reached the two hours, guys. Which means it is time for this stream to finish. Uh, so if you stay tuned, I think it is uploaded and ready to go. Let me check real quick. 
uh, the original Somerset Hills series that I made on Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 will be streaming directly after this. Oh no, wait. Sorry, no. Global Ventures will be streaming after this um, because Somerset Hills needed to be re-rendered. Yeah, I remember now. Aha! You are getting Eulorium, just not much. Let's just do bulk 100 again. So you should always have 100 Eulorium in this chest. And then that will be pulled out. But again, like the Eulorium... I think I need to do partial on this. It's quite annoying, actually, that it works that way. But what can you do? So we should be getting Eulorium. I'm going to sit here and watch this to make sure. And if worst comes to worst, I'll take plutonium out of this pipe again. Which actually, I'll do that now. And I'll keep an eye on this to see if any Eulorium gets pulled in. Uh, how are we doing here? You're 100%. So, you, yeah, Eulorium should start stacking up in this chest. Alright then, guys. It is time to end. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for Global Ventures. It's the latest episode, I think. Uh, episode 28. Which may or may not even be on the, uh, the YouTube channel. So, you might be watching an exclusive here. Um, but, yeah, thanks to Kurt. Thanks to Ben. Thanks to Sparky. And thanks to Tom for coming in to the chat. Got a bit quiet towards the end, but that's okay. Oh, 64 Eulorium just arrived. Perfect. And that Eulorium will be pulled out as and, as and when needed into here. So if I change you to full. Actually, no. If I change you to bulk 50. Yeah. So I will always keep 50 in here if possible. It's just a question of does it pull it from this chest? Or does it pull it from the central system? I don't know. I'm going to toss that in there. Yep. Thanks, guys, for coming in. Rubber dub dub. Thanks for the stream, bub. Oh, dear me. me. <laughs> I'll check Telegram afterwards as well. No problem. Um, but, yeah. Stay tuned for Global Ventures. Uh, besides that, hit the follow button if you haven't done so already. Go over to the YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button there, too, if you haven't done so already. And until next time, I will see you soon.